You are watching the longest running episodic television show in history. Welcome to Monday Night Raw. What a night we've got planned for you. I don't know what it is, gentlemen, but something feels different than... The premier athlete has arrived. Myron, get ready to count abs. You might need to take your shoes off. Come over here. Come here, I want to show you something. This right here, this is why I'm the premier athlete. And let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight reasons why I'm the premier athlete. Eight reasons why I'm better than each and every one of you. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at Two WWE's top stars ready to go here in one-on-one -on -one action. This is the match I've been waiting for, guys. Ever since it was announced, I've been looking forward to seeing these two clash. Byron, you might as well give up your diet in your gym. You're never going to have an eight-pack. I'm serious. I got some tips from Tony Nese, man. Those abs are impressive. Gentlemen, Jack has arrived. And his opponent from Manchester, England, weighing in at 167 pounds, gentlemen, Jack Gallagher. Unlike you, Byron, Jack Gallagher can actually pull off the old school tube socks. The quintessential English gentleman. An incredibly unique scientific wrestling style, but a dangerous, dangerous man. And yeah, Jack Gallagher known for taking his time when it comes to breaking down and debilitating his opponents. Gallagher is off to an incredible start to his WWE career. Byron, you should try to interview him. Uh, he doesn't tend to talk to me very much. Both superstars come into this matchup with a lot to prove. What a stomp. Good grief. What's this? Mention of oh. Absolute. He's got the shoulders down. And Gallagher quickly kicks out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Uh oh, look oh, at this. Nelson applied. You've got to believe this one's over. Ooh, what impact. Devastating elbow. Taking out the arm, great strategy. Very difficult position to be in right now. Yeah, situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly.
One thing's for certain, Corey, Tony Nese has a certain air about him. The shoulders are down, and an easy kick out. Too soon. Harsh impact. He goes for the cover. Nice with the win. Big victory and a strong showing from this superstar. Very, very impressive. And the celebration continues. Oh no, where are they going with it? Oh! This match is over. This is too much. Yeah, what is this all about? This is ridiculous. Completely uncalled for. Maybe the victory wasn't enough. Oh, into the steps. They wanted to send a message. These guys are scary. They're frightening. And they're dominant. Too. You don't. You could say that the Bludgeon Brothers had their shining moment at WrestleMania when they won the SmackDown Live Tag Team titles and since then have really served as the proverbial black cloud of the tag team division. WWE is about to experience a bludgeoning at the hands of Harper and Rowan. It's not about how the world sees you. It's how you see yourself. And the B team sees themselves as the best. I think these two are ungrateful. And they should be embarrassed to show their faces after betraying the Miz who benefited them like no one else in their careers. Oh, stop being a jealous Judy. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional oh, about man. this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Right to the skull. Good grief, what a toss into the turnbuckle. Nasty drop. Oh, what an up. with their head. Ooh! The B 
biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this his shoulders are down. And a fast kick out from Bo Dallas. Too soon. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything. What he's going for the pin. There's a kick out by Bo Dallas. Too soon. Oh, my God. Oh, crushing the knee here. What a stomp. Good grief. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Beautiful technique. Oh, and a chop to the side of the face. He's done. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. What Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time. An opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas' opponent. I mean, before they even get in the ring. Bo Dallas getting completely dominated here, people. Bo Dallas was just a step behind there, guys. Bo Dallas was just a step behind there, guys. Hooked up and... What is it that Bo Dallas is looking to do to change his look at this point? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. The amount of punishment he's absorbed in this match is oh. absolutely insane. A lesser man would have given up and walked away. Incredible impact! What's going to happen now? Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. This could be it. What's he doing? Oh, Dallas. Uh-oh. About to put this one to bed. He's in control now. That'll knock you loopy. There's the pin. Can his opponent kick out? And he gets the shoulder up. Not yet. What? Oh, shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. Oh, my goodness, crushing it. He's not looking good here. If he's not careful, this can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what. He's not looking so hot right now. He's really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. It's make or break time here, and he absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. He's got him covered. He gets the shoulder up before three. That's all right, Cole. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Oh, what incredible power! suplex nobody can 
controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Oh, the face destroyed. It's just not Bo Dallas' night, guys. What a hellaciously physical match. These Can he score the pin? Nah, I can't believe he had the energy to kick out of that. Wow, I thought this was over. Here we go. We knew this was coming. Look at this. Suplex! Bo Dallas isn't being shy, that's for sure. Uh -oh. Not the all. Oh, Ooh, nasty impact. When this guy's on, look out. Look at Bo Dallas. That was the Bo Dazzler. We might be looking at a Bo Dallas victory here. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. He looks for it once again. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Bo Dallas is calling for it. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Enough already. Oh. 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 And that one drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. All right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Vertical suplex. Nice. Suplex. Oh no! Oh, what a slam! That hurt! It's just not Bo Dallas's night, guys. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. I can't believe what we're seeing here. What a stomp! Good grief! He's in trouble. He's got a boatload of energy. See if it lasts. Here comes Spear! But I don't know how much gas he has. He thinks he has it. Two! I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Nice kick out there. The intensity of this match has been incredible. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Whiplash neck breaker. But can he follow up here? Such incredible impact. Here's a cover. One, two, three. Boy, Dallas did it. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow.
I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas picks up the victory here tonight. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Here comes the worst internet champion ever, Zack Ryder. Making his way to the ring from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, Zack Ryder. You guys ever notice that everybody Zack Ryder gets close to dumps them? I even have it on good authority that Zack Ryder's father gets paid a significant sum to sit in the front row. Okay, that's enough, Corey. He never sat back and waited for opportunities to be handed to him. He went after those opportunities. He grabbed them. The Lone Wolf about to pray on Monday Night Raw. You know, I once asked Baron Corbin, what makes you happy? What drives you? He told me two things, getting under people's skin and exposing them to their worst fears. If you ask Baron Corbin, he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman. Baron Corbin is a former Golden Glove boxing champion. If the Lone Wolf connects with the right hand, you can forget about it. Yeah, lights out and short order. of a short evening for him. We got a cover. And Zack Ryder pops the shoulder up. Remarkable. Hooked up. Shoulders down. Kicks out in the nick of time. Hey, I guess you never know. What a stomp. Good grief. 
What do you think Zack Ryder needs to do to get back into this battle? Guys, he's going to have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. Showing off some of his speed there. Elbow drop. Piercing. Given Baron Corbin's size, strength, and striking ability, an opponent must try to always be moving and keep the lone wolf off balance. And by the way, good luck with that. Oh, man, did you see the impact? Baron Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. But he's very aware of who he... And here's a cover. Power, agility, toughness, and a massive six foot eight, 275-pound frame means there's a lot to prepare for against Baron Corbin. Corey, you offer the best advice a superstar needs to be on the move and keep this monster off balanced. The lone wolf possesses all of the physical and mental tools to dominate an opponent. That's why it's essential for a competitor who's going up against Baron Corbin to not allow him to get set. Keep him guessing and moving. Apparently, he can summon this kind of energy at will. Oh, this is one of my favorite moves, Corey. Unfortunately, woo, 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 I know it. Boom, broski boot. I'm not sure how much he has left. The shoulders are down. And they kick out at two. You need more to keep a man Corbin's size down. I agree. He's calling for it. Here he goes. But he's got to capitalize now. Will this be enough? One, two, three. The singles match has come to an end. Wow. Many would consider this an upset, Byron. Yeah, a hard-fought victory for this superstar, but he definitely earned it. Yeah, look at it. His opponent, sore loser. Yeah, but apparently it backfired. That's what you get for not accepting a loss. And now the celebration can begin. because he believes he's accomplished everything he needs to in WWE, and he's right. Dolph Ziggler made it his personal mission to eliminate the complacency that plagues the WWE locker room. Month after month, the preaching is the same. Dolph Ziggler truly believes no one can hang on his level. Mojo's here, and he's all business. And introducing the challenger from Alexandria, Virginia, weighing in at 265 pounds, Mojo Crawley. No more of that getting hyped stuff. Once upon a time, Mojo enjoyed the distinct honor of being my least favorite superstar on the NXT roster. My, how times have changed with Mojo's attitude. Listen, honestly, I, I miss the guy who was hyped, who had a good time, but you can't ignore the fact that the more aggressive Mojo has had more success. Byron, he's found his killer instinct in Mo...
The peeps are out. And introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds. He is the WWE United States Champion. Christian. And you think of Christian, what is the one thing you think of? I think a surefire future Hall of Famer. I think great podcaster, great champion. I can't only think about one thing when I think about Captain Charisma. You know what I think about? No one cares. A protege of the great Paul Smackage, who happens to hold six keys to the city of Grapevine, Texas. Well, I add this to his accomplishments. He's also a great talk show host. Anybody want to watch the Peep Show? My one word for the day is awesomeness, because Christian completely reeks of it. People are going crazy. Discussed that strategy is so important in a triple threat match. To emerge victorious, a superstar must be able to seize opportunity. That could include letting an opponent do all the work in beating down the other participant and then coming in to reap the benefits. Ooh -wee. Oh, a knee! Lights out. And Mojo Raleigh just not looking good here. You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity oh. slip so easily. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. I think a lot of people right now are scratching their heads wondering how he let this match get so out of hand. Man, what a slam! John. Suplex. Irish whip. Truck with precision. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. Oh, and it's a reversal. Toss to the outside. Wow, what a sequence. Yeah, that was amazing. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron. Mojo Riley going for an early pin. And Dolph Ziggler quickly kicks out. Way too early. Christian just too quick. Stopping away in the corner. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. Setting up for it. Just a debilitating neck breaker. Cover here. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Gonna take more than that.
As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. <laughs> Christian may be cracking a bit here. Guys, this is where we find out what he's made of. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. Look at that. Ziggler with the famous serve. Victory is on the horizon. Quick cover from Dolph Ziggler. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time, and so far, I think it's safe to say. Full head of speed. <laughs> what impact. Can he finish the job? Can Dolph Ziggler stay in after that? Don't count the show off out yet. There it is, the zigzag. What's he gonna do now? A trip to the local medical facility might be in order after that. And Christian's playing some mind games now. Christian is looking for the finish. He's teetering on the edge here. Whoa! He's making a statement here with this attack. This could do it. And Raleigh easily avoids the pinfall. Mojo Raleigh is raw strength and constant energy. No way that's keeping him down. Sit on, slam. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. He might have it. In beautiful technique. Man, looked like the champ was down and out for a moment there, but not anymore. That undoubtedly caused some serious internal injuries. Is that enough for the win? And he got a near fall out of it. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. Impact. His shoulders are down. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow. And Dolph Ziggler heads for the top rope. And he kicks out. Not yet. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Rope breaks the hole there. Hey, oh, that's the impact. You can feel this one slipping away from Ziggler. Boom, what impact. He's nailed it. You can feel this one slipping away from Ziggler. I don't know where he gets the energy, but I'd love to have some. The champion into the cover. Real close, too close for comfort. This is amazing. An amazing match so far, guys, but it looks to me like we're possibly nearing the end here. He's got him covered. He's got to be running on empty at this point. Mojo Raleigh is raw strength and constant energy. No way that's keeping him down. This might be it. Oh, my. And will this be it? Yes. One. How'd he do that? He knows he's in trouble.
Christian's got it right where he wants him. Boom! Lift the kill switch. It's over. That has got to be it. If I was Mojo Rawley, I'd make sure I don't forget the task at hand. Uh-oh! We're going to hyperdrive! That's what he was looking for, Michael. I don't know. He can end it here! Two! True testament to Gret. Just when he thought it was over. Wow! Boom! Right across the small of the back. Double axe handle smash. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. And he got a near fall out of it. Wow, what's it going to take? He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look at this. When this guy's on, look out. Set him up effectively using the knee. I've seen now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. He's not giving up that easy. Irish whip. Speed. <laughs> what impact! That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. That was both a quick and powerful strike, guys. You gotta believe this one's over. He's going for the pin. Two gets the shoulder up. Wow, what's it going to take? How'd he do that? No question, he's found a burst. Ziggler with the famous sir. Ziggler has this match in hand, guys. There's a pin now. Two. Oh, somehow. Not yet. Uh-oh. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Three. There's the pinfall and the victory. No doubt that was a match people will be telling their kids about for years to come. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here is your winner and still WWE United States Champion, Christian. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive... Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. One day she'll be joining her father 
in the Hall of Fame. The Pirate Princess. And her partner from Yamaguchi, Japan, Kairi. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. Here comes the Riot Squad! And their opponent, accompanied by Liz Morgan, Ruby Riot, and Sarah Logan, the Riot Squad. WWE could use a little anarchy. Would you agree, fellas? Uh, I don't agree with that. I get nervous whenever these three are around. Squad's talking about having a little bit of fun as well. Byron, I swore to Ruby I wouldn't tell her. It was your suit in the shower. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. That's how you wear down your opponent. God, oh, that'll mess Ooh. up your neck. Man. Oh, this is not good at all. The pen... In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Ruby Riot is anti-establishment. She's an anarchist and someone who takes aim at those born with a silver spoon in their mouths. When it comes to Ruby, it is down with the system. Got tag made. What a strike. 
This can go a variety of different ways, Corey, and almost none of them are good. Really targeting the back on that one. What could Charlotte do here to up the odds for success? To Byron's point about Ruby Riot wanting to bring down the establishment, I need to agree with that. Ruby is controlled, calculated, and possesses an abundance of self-confidence. All I hear is whining from you two. It's because of Ruby Riot's fit. She goes for the cover. In a kick out. Might have slipped there, Cole. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard. Oh, oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh, beautiful technique. Ah, stop in the leg. Just nasty. here for Charlotte. She has to formulate a plan quickly to get things going. This may very well be the beginning of the end. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Spear! And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. She goes down hard. She's going to be feeling that one for a while. She goes for the cover. Sarah Logan kicks out easily. Still seems a little early. Nailed it. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, continuing to punish them. She's starting to feel it. Her and her partner making it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. Yeah, but I feel pretty confident in saying that she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Double underhook suplex. Vertical suplex. Nice. In off the tag. She's getting closer. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. And she goes down hard. That'll leave the mark. Point of the elbow, nailed it. And here comes Charlotte. Look out. Spear! That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. Momentum is completely in favor of Charlotte now. Wait a minute. This couldn't do it! She's got her where she wants her. There's a setup. From behind, natural selection! Now it's time to capitalize. Yeah, that truly was a... She goes for the cover. When she gets an attack mode, look out! something full what impact that's just charlotte proving her dominance once the momentum shifts to charlotte now and here comes charlotte here's charlotte, charlotte with the spear that might have done it cole and that's twice now A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. You gotta believe this one's over. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Look at her go. Fireman's carry. This doesn't look good, Corey. Couldn't agree more, Cole. This has got trouble written all over it. Oh, so tear the features clean off your face. We're looking at complete domination here. 
eludes that one. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Irish whip. is in trouble. Charlotte's just getting overwhelmed. That's not something you see often for the Queen. She's calling for it. Uh-oh, look. Ooh, what impact. She's back in full control now. Oh, what a knee. Man, oh, man. That's all she wrote, fellas. Sarah Logan may have just ended this, guys. She goes for the cover. One. This might be it. Oh, my. There goes the ref. Oh, no, this is not good, guys. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. What grace. Float over into the DDT. Fight them. What a stomp. Good grief. See where she's going with this. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown. Kick right to the midsection. I think we know what's coming up next, Michael. Indeed we do. Natural selection. Now, she just needs to finish her off. That should do it right there. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. Oh, Bulldog, one-handed. Looking at it here. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. She's out. She escapes the hold. Just when it looked like her night was over, too. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. In a standard tag team. Oh, I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. How is Sarah Logan gonna survive? Oh, she goes for the cover. They did it! That match might go down as one of the best matches in WWE history. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable Here are your winners, Charlotte Flair and Kyrie Sane. And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Boy, I Here comes the monster among men. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 385 pounds, Roy Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. Here's a man who won the greatest Royal Rumble 
in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. He beat the bar at WrestleMania while teaming with a 10-year-old kid, and he won the Money in the Bank contract. Hey, Michael, remember that time he threw you around? <laughs> yeah, Byron, because I'm a man, and I stand up for myself. I don't run away and hide in the locker room like a little girl. I remember things. Monday Night Raw, welcome to Balor Club. incredible athletes to ever step foot in Monday Night Raw. Finn Balor, first ever Universal Champion. This man is an enigma with a profound skill set that we have never witnessed before. A world-renowned superstar. Former NXT champion, the first ever Universal Champion, Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen, is for real. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor, And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Oh, right to the gut. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. What a stomp. Good grief. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. To be expected, though. It's not like he's in there with a the slouch, guys. Using the elbow as a weapon. Confident, mysterious, and yes, a bit demonic, that's Finn Balor. After all, we're talking about the 2015 NXT Male Competitor of the Year, the overall competitor of the year, and the first man to be crowned WWE Universal Champion. Six. He wants no part of the outside. There's definitely a confidence and mystery about the man who named himself after the Irish mythology warrior named Finn and a warrior King Balor. Finn can also be, let's say, a bit demonic at times. There's a quiet, cool confidence about Finn Balor. There's a mystery to this man who's been a champion everywhere he's competed. If anyone can relate to those things, oh, man. it's definitely me. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relent. Oh. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh my gosh, from what heights. There is no coming back from that one. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. 
Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Oh, what a boot to the face! Braun Strowman fans with some reason to worry about here. He looks incredibly motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. The good news for... He goes right for the cover. It. He's got plenty of gas left in the tank. Oh, man. I don't know who to root for. What a stomp. Good grief. Look out. There he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Been a lot of talk about this superstar's latest spot in the power rankings, but if you ask me, those things are overblown. Looks like trouble here, Byron. I don't know. I guess that all depends on who you're rooting for. And he's able to get out. Wow, if you want to beat this Irishman, you're going to have to come up with more than that. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, and he reverses it. Nailed it. Looking for all the glory here. Two. And he's able to get the shoulder up. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Finn Balor going high risk. This is where Finn Balor's at home. Coup de grace. To think, I almost rode him off. Here's the cover. One. Two. He's not done fighting yet. As a former strongman, I'd expect nothing less from Braun. Looking for the finish. Here he goes. 19, 16. Finn Balor never ceases to amaze me. He's got the shoulders down. Two. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. I could watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. Here is your winner, Finn Balor! And it's a win here tonight for Finn Balor. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. With that win of the books, we must now move on.